And welcome to Black Renaissance, everyone. I'm your host, Kristen Ayers. Remember, you can pitch us show ideas and see archives of these and other segments on Facebook.com slash Black Renaissance KBCW TV. Today's show brings us the Soul Yoga Project, a charity fashion show, an Air Force vet, gone photographer, and a celebrated jazz recording artist. Up first, radio personality and yoga instructor, Nikki Thomas. Wow. Nikki, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm a big fan of yours listen to you on KVLX all the time. Really? I do, and I had no idea that you were a yoga enthusiast and, in fact, a certified instructor. I am. I am. That's kind of an odd combination, I know. But um, I, yoga is something I think everybody needs. I am a single mom. Mm -hmm. I have to get up very early in the morning. Uh -huh. So there are a lot of things that can kind of bring a little stress into your life. And in 2009, I became certified to teach yoga. Now, how long had you been doing yoga before you went to that oh, point? Oh, I'd been doing it maybe 10 years before that. Okay. And when I first discovered it, I knew that I instantly felt awesome. Mm -hmm. First session. Uh -huh. I remember, and, and I did it with, a, back then it was a VHS, and I'm aging myself a little bit. <laughs> Um, we all remember that. Yeah, Come yeah. So it was a VHS <laughs> yoga tape, and I thought, wow, that's awesome. So I kept doing it, and one day it's like, why not get certified so that you can teach and do some things with it? Absolutely. So actually the, the, the radio and yoga comes together really great because I talk to a whole lot of people every day, uh -huh. and I want to let everybody know how beneficial it is. I want to bring yoga to the masses. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people have blocks around yoga. I yes. think especially in the black community, mm -hmm. people just kind of see it as something that's not accessible. It's maybe like a suburban mom type thing right. or, you know, what's up with that stereotype? Well, I, I want to just kind of debunk that right now because a lot of people don't understand yoga began in Africa, actually. Is that right? That's right. And it started in ancient Egypt. And if you think, just, you know, think about it. You see hieroglyphics of people in yoga poses. Okay. So when people find that out, immediately it's like, oh, okay. We, we typically think of it being attributed to India yeah. or to Asia. Yeah, but, you know, go back a little bit further. Uh -huh. Go back a little bit further, and there it is. So that makes people comfortable understanding that this is our roots as African Americans. Absolutely. So they immediately want to know more, and then on top of that, the benefits are just their mind-boggling the benefits of yoga not just hey I want to lose weight I want my butt to look good mm -hmm. I want mental clarity I yes. don't want to be angry about things I don't want everything to set me off and I want to be able to accomplish all my goals I want to so, be able to live in the moment that's, that's one of it. the great things that's about yoga. It. there's so there's so so many things and it's not complicated it doesn't have to be expensive um, you know it doesn't have to be something that's foreign you know, because it's, it's very deeply rooted within us as African Americans. So I just want to let everybody know and offer it to the community um, where it's affordable and where it's fun. So as part of the Soul Yoga Project, you are actually teaching a variety of different classes. Is that right? I teach wherever people want me to come and teach yoga. Uh, for a while, I had a class at um, Imagine Affairs mm -hmm. in downtown Oakland. Yeah. And that was a great community of folks, so I wanted to kind of expand. So since then, I've taught yoga at the Napa Valley Jazz Festival, oh, on fun. the Smooth Jazz Cruise. Cool. So I just go all over, and I just teach, and we have a good time. That's uh -huh. the most important thing, because I think yoga is kind of overly zen. Yeah. It's a whole industry, and it's overly done, overly zen. It's a little bit uncomfortable. It's to the point where some people don't necessarily feel like it's for them. So what would you like to say to people who mm. maybe don't necessarily identify with yoga? Oh, oh, you do identify, first of all. <laughs> I, I already put that part out there. But the other part is that when you go to the doctor and the doctor says, hey, number one, you need to move. Okay, yoga is low impact. If you can roll a yoga mat out, on the floor in your house. You've got plenty of room to do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting the finishing touches on a yoga DVD. Uh oh. So, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> once that's there, you won't have any excuses. So you can just kind of put that on and go with it. Um, and also lower the blood pressure, okay. improve your posture, better mental clarity. There's so many things. The list goes on and on. So you can't afford not to try it out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We are so happy to have you here today. And we're excited to see what you do next and to learn about the Soul Yoga mm -hmm. Project. So if you want f more information on the Soul Yoga Project, you can go to NikkiThomasNetwork.com. That's NikkiThomasNetwork.com. We'll be back in a minute with more Black Renaissance after the break. Mm -hmm.